Hello, my name is Danielle Carpenter, and I am a physical scientist at the Naval Oceanographic Office at Sena Space Center, Mississippi. My video is to discuss the poster for the GRIST 24 meeting, Naval Oceanographic Office Sea Surface Temperature Processing and Products. This poster was done by myself, Belinda Kirkland, Michelle Little, and Jessica Schroeder from the Naval Oceanographic Office, Charlie Barron, Jackie May, and Robert Helber from the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory, and John Francois Cayula from Periton. NAVOCEANO Ocean Measurements Division is responsible for providing near real time sea surface temperature measurements to the US Navy, as well as to national and international partners. NAVOCEANO and NRL provide the research and development of the SST processing for numerous satellite data sets that NAVO operationally produces. This SST data assimilates into the Navy's Global Ocean Forecast System, or GOFS, and the Global Environmental Model, or NAVGEM, and soon into the Navy Global Earth System Prediction Capability, or ESPC. NAVOCEANO is a member of the Group for High Resolution SST, or GRIS, operationally providing and acquiring a variety of GRIS datasets. The intent of our poster is to go into further detail on the products we create, show the satellites we currently use, as well as ones we intend to use in the future, and display our contributions to the GRIS community. NAVOCEANO operationally processes satellite-derived SSTs, which are ingested into GOFS and NAVGEM to provide forecasts at both the global and regional scale to the Navy fleet. The following satellite sensors are used. METOP B and C GACFRAC AVHRR, Sentinel-3A and 3B Slister, EWSG-1, previously GOES-13 Imager, SNPP and NOAA 20 VIRS, GCOM W1, AMSR-2 SSC, Meteosat 9 or MSG2 and Meteosat 10 or MSG3 Severi, Himawari 9 AHI, GOES 16 and GOES 18 ABI, and recently we have deemed NOAA 21 beers to be operationally ready for when users are requiring the need. Displayed is a composite daily K10 graphic that we create every day for the middle of September with our ice mask overlay as well as SST matchup RMS errors for both global and regional satellites. Our customers include F Fleet Numerical Meteorology and Oceanography Center, or FINMOC, the Navy Research Lab, or NRL, the National Centers for Environmental Prediction, the National Centers for Environmental Information, the Jet Propulsion Lab Physical Oceanography Distributed Active Archive Center, NOAA Earth System Research Laboratories, the Australian Bureau of Meteorology, the Global Ocean Data Assimilation Experiment, Ocean Imaging, Variety of Scientists at Woods Hole, and Environmental Canada. If requested, other GRIST data sets are available by for NAVO Chinoa, including NOAA 20 VIRS Global 750-meter L2P product and the Meta BC Global 1-kilometer L2P product. As a regional data assembly center for the GRIST community, NAVOCEANO provides a Level 4 GDS 2.0 Global K10 combined product, as well as the following L2P GDS 2.0 products. Meta BC AVHRR GAC Global 4 kilometer, SMPP VIRS Global 750 meters, and EWSG1 Imager IO 8 kilometer. We also have GCOM W1 AMSR2 and RTL2P data that we received from JAXA, Sentinel 3A and 3B Slister L2P data we received from STAR, and the MSG2 and MSG3 Severi L3C data that we received from the PODAC cloud. We show here an example of EWSG1 imager processing, and the satellite is currently positioned over the Indian Ocean. Nighttime data is complete, which you can see on the bottom image, but the image above shows the daytime data being constrained by a circular hole in the northern Indian Ocean. This is due to the GOES 13, 14, and 15 satellites not having the 12 micron channel needed in order to process data effectively. 
the 4 micron channel, which is used, is affected by solar radiation. So when the radiation is too strong, the daytime hole appears. We expect this to continue to be an issue when EWSG2, which is the GOES-15 satellite that is drifting into place at this time, we expect the hole to also remain. Future satellites and sensors that will be ingested into our processing are METOP SGA1 and B1 FRAC, Sentinel-3C and 3D Slister, GOSAT GW Amster 3, WSFM1 and WSFM2, EWSP1 and EWSP2, MTGI1 and MTGI2, GOESU, JPSS3, GOXO, and SIMR. This concludes the discussion about my, our poster, and thank you very much.